Hey sports fans, today we are having a very overdue conversation about the Bayer Dynamic DT1990 Pro. So when I say that the conversation is a little overdue, these are not new to market headphones, but do they still stack up in 2020? Well, let's talk about that. These were sent to me uh, years ago as a pre-release pair that, uh, that Bayer Dynamic asked me to evaluate. And at the time, I don't think I really gave them enough attention. It was in the middle of having a lot of headphones over my desk, and I probably had a little bit of fatigue about uh, the whole experience of how many that I was dealing with at the time. Boo hoo, all the audio files are saying boo hoo. Totally get it, totally understand. So I've come back to these recently and have really started to appreciate how superb they really are. So let's go over a few of the features of them. Now they are a professional studio monitoring headphone, sort of first and foremost. Uh, they've been designed with uh, the Bayer Dynamic um, 44mm Tesla driver, uh, which is fantastic. It has a frequency response from 5 um, to 40 kilohertz, 5 hertz to 40 kilohertz. Um, which you can really feel like from end to end as far as your listening ear can handle it's it's quite superb but we'll talk about the bass mids and trebs in, in, in a little while uh, they have uh, an aluminium external exo frame on the on the cans uh, which is really really nice the build quality is just superb and of course you would expect some decent build quality at the price you're gonna pay for these but these days the prices come down quite a bit uh, and now, you know, they're, they're incredible value for money, uh, made in Germany, of course, by Bayer Dynamic. Uh, they have a single uh, mini XLR plug uh, on the bottom, and it comes with a couple of cables that I can show you. It also comes with um, two sets of earphones, one for dynamic listening and one for uh, slightly more well-rounded holistic listening, uh, which you can, so you can just swap out these earphones um, depending on what kind of sound signature you want, which is an interesting approach. I know a lot of people are modding their cans and a lot of people are switching out the foams um, to apply different results, but it's not often that, a, in my experience, that a, a manufacturer uh, outright says, you know, here's, here's another set of uh, foams to provide um, a, a more accurate sound signature for your, uh, for your listening. They're a 250 ohm headphone, so uh, while you could uh, put them on your iPod or iPhone or smartphone or, you know, um, DAP, they will sound okay, but ideally you're going to really power them with something a little bit more impressive, either your studio rack, maybe your home um, hi-fi amp, or you're going to run a decent um, headphone amp uh, with them as well, and you could use, you know, there's a lot of uh, headphones out amps out there that you could use vo shit any of these brands would be really good to pack a little bit of extra punch into the listening experience and make sure that these are really driven the way that you would like them to be driven they are 370 grams uh, which really isn't that heavy um, for what you're going to be doing considering they've got an alum aluminium you know external plate the framing is steel um, it's, they're, they're not too heavy at all. In fact, I find them quite light. You know, as a circum oral open back, you know, you're not gonna have to carry a lot of extra weight, uh, but these do feel really nice. The headband has a really comfy feel to it, uh, but if we had one bad thing to say about these, I'll get it up and out up front, and that is that they are, uh, they are a little bit tight on the head. So I could do a couple of hours with these um, and audio wise, I wouldn't feel fatigued and could keep going for a long time. But there are times when it just feels like they're a little bit tight on, uh, on my head. Um, so that's probably the only complaint you're gonna hear us uh, give these during this review. So not only is the build quality really great, but also they, um, they're just really good looking uh, headphones, uh, in, uh, in my opinion. They, they come with that uh, embossed DT1990 Pro on the external, the, um, the external there and there on, on both the cans. Um, they've got a nice imprinted embossed uh, Bayer Dynamic on the top of the headband. Um, the feel, as I say, is just really quite excellent, um, even at this price point. 
So let's talk sound signature. Bayer Dynamic to me have always nailed a very neutral, natural sound where nothing is particularly sculpted in any, any end of the frequency spectrum and yet all of them are well presented. So it's not that the sound stage is incredibly wide, uh, but it is certainly wide enough that there's a nice separation in the instrumentation uh, and a really nice natural sound. So if you picture being in the studio, if you've never been in a studio, just try and imagine this, um, walking into a studio and either sitting on the floor, um, assuming that you don't have a hard floor, and if you do, you've got lots of traps catching all that reflection. Anyway, lie down, uh, say on a rug in front of a, um, a kick drum, and perhaps you've got the rhythm section with a bass player with a little Ampeg stack over there, and they're just playing. And, and the sound that these give, in my opinion, is so close to that natural sound that you can really hear the skin on the kick drum flex. You can almost hear the pedal squeak a little bit, not really, but it's just that nice natural sound, and yet it's full and deep. So you get that full boom, that right down to that five hertz, as far as your ears can go, to really make you feel like you're there. And this is a, a live event. They're probably, the, you know, as I say, they're, they're top of my list. I, I, I absolutely love my uh, THX-100s, even though they're like half the price, they have a really nice dynamic live sound. These to me, it's as close to being in the studio recording or with a band or at a live event as possible, even with recorded mixes and, 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 and mastered tracks. So in terms of the bass, absolutely love it. And um, of course, uh, being a, an open back headphone, you're not gonna pick up the nuances of that sound if you're trying to listen to these in the office. So, you know, commute with them, use them in the office if you want. I don't think these are the right headphones for that. But if you, if you do that, great. But ideally, you'll be in a quiet environment because you really, with that open back, you, do, you, you know, there's quite a lot of spill anyway, so your office mates will get annoyed with you. But you wanna pick up on just those subtleties that you get that are so sublime. Um, so a quieter listening environment would be great for the home office, in the studio, obviously, um, as they're designed or you know plugged into your hi-fi amp at home. So uh, that's what I would say about that. The, the bass is deep, it is wide, it is full, uh, but to really hear that and feel that, you wanna have a, a slightly quieter listening environment. Mids, again, equally delightful. Not sharp at all, um, very natural, so as a guitarist, um, when you're uh, modeling a lot of your amp sounds in the studio, especially through an analog or a valve, uh, a valve amp, you're trying to really get a nice crunch on the edge. And often that can be quite sharp without being harsh. Uh, and these can reproduce that, which I absolutely love um, because sometimes you can spend an hour in the studio really trying to fine tune your sound. Uh, if it's an acoustic sound, um, and then somehow in the, in, the, in the mastering, in the mixing, you know, no offense engineers, but you kind of start to lose some of that. This stays alive with that, and I'm not saying all engineers do that, by the way, because you're all awesome. Uh, and then we go to the trebles, and again, the high end is, uh, again, wonderful. Not sharp, not harsh, but it goes all the way up and, and not unbalanced. So in terms of that, that you know, nice, flat structure, you're not getting any sculpted bass or any like, you know, rolled off highs and then and, and tweaky bits at the ends and mids that are kind of lost in there somewhere. It's wide enough that it doesn't sound separated, uh, but all the frequencies go and play in together naturally. It's always hard to describe headphones on video, but hopefully I'm kind of building a picture for um, uh, how these, these sound um, as a headphone for, for audio listening. As a studio monitoring headphone, you know, all of that remains exactly the same. It's a natural um, reproduction of what you're, you're gonna be playing with, whatever's in the booth or whatever's sitting next to you at the desk. So absolutely love these cans for, for their sound signature. So let's have a look at the Made in Journey uh, aspect to it. What do you get with uh, all these bits and pieces and this high quality um, manufacturing? Well, obviously you get the headphones themselves. Uh, in a semi-firm case. It has some flex to it, um, but it's strong enough. Um, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's just a little bad dynamic professional audio on the front there. Uh, it's got a, it's a zippered case, if you can't hear that. A little bit like a sleeping bag. 
And when you open it up, you're gonna have a few cool things. You're gonna have a coiled cable, which again has the mini XLR and a 3.5 mil jack end on it. You're gonna have the two additional, well, I've got one because I dropped the other one. Welcome back. You've got two ear cups uh, that you can swap out those with, again, for more accurate listening. And you've got a small sewn in zip pouch here, um, which is, uh, contains your straight cable, again, with mini XLR and 3.5 mil, and it also includes a, um, a quarter inch jack. Now, just to say, attention to detail, some of you will think whatever, uh, but these have um, screw tips on them, and this has a screw tip. If you've ever spent a long time in a recording studio recording uh, only to find out that um, your adapter or your plug was slightly out of a, of, of, a, of a socket and you'd like to curl up and die, it's kind of like being a wedding photographer and shooting and then realizing you didn't have an SD card or any film in your camera. Um, that's that little attention to detail where you can screw on that adapter so that when you put that into your mixing console or your rack, um, you know, you're never going to get this accidental pop out in the middle of a recording. Uh, so it's those little attention, those little details that I think are, are really quite nice. And that's really it. That's all you're going to get um, for your however many dollars that you spend. But again, you're not really paying for the box, you're paying for their headphones. I'll put them on, not because uh, that's going to help you understand what they look like, but it might help you understand what it looks like. Very open back. I can still hear all the ambient noise um, pretty much in the room. Um, so you're probably ideally going to want to use these in the um, outside the booth, not inside the booth. So that's it. That's really the, the bad dynamics. If you've got questions, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, and I just want to come back to that. You know, these are not uh, a new generation headphone in terms of being recently released. But if you are a lover of any genre of music, these will reproduce faithfully anything you throw at them. And yes, they're more expensive than the three or four hundred dollar units you're going to buy that are incredibly well reviewed. Uh, but these are pretty much as close to my end game headphone uh, as I could possibly get. If you've tried the uh, 770s uh, from Bayer Dynamic, again, just beautiful natural reproduction of sound. Um, these just take it, you know, a million times to the next level from those. So uh, try and have a listen to them or um, buy in faith. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Great to have you here. Do like and subscribe if you're interested in any of those H's, headphones, hi-fi, home theater, smart home, home automation and uh, share it with your friends if you think that they might be interested um, in getting a, a pair of these and you can have a, an audiophile debate on, uh, on who, who has the cooler headphones. Anyway, I'll leave that to you. Nice to see you. Uh, take care out there and we'll talk soon. Bye for now.